the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello eighth standard children so how is life you all are very happy isn't it as usual so now we are into the second month of this year 2021 let me begin my session by wishing you all a very very happy february with lot of joy happiness good health whatever you desire for may you get whatever you desire for in this month okay but you know exams are fast approaching i know you all are geared up for the examination right so don't be scared of that word examination celebrations are important equally important is examination you know why examinations are conducted it is just to evaluate how far you have understood the subject even teachers come to know how far they are able to go deeper into their subject content how far they were able to reach into the minds of their students your performance is a reflection of what we have taught okay if it is good we will be very happy you can see happiness reflecting on our faces so my dear children work hard practice regularly any subject for that matter be systematic frame a time table and do your work properly regularly as you shall i will always say right pray 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 prayer has immense strength so before starting anything just pray for a minute and then start your work you will have god's blessings also with you okay so let me continue with the lesson so last class i taught you about polymer isn't it that new word polymer you know polymers are formed from simple units called monomers and the process is called as polymerization do you remember children yes then polymers are classified into three groups fibers plastic and rubber then i taught you about fibers fibers are again of two types natural fibers and synthetic fibers then about the merits demerits of natural fibers then i came to the next point that is the merits and demerits of synthetic fibers i hope you are all going through the videos understanding the content if you have any doubt you can call me clarify your doubts okay then and there itself you can call me if you have any doubt once i reach home i'm sure i'll be able to clear your doubts never hesitate to call okay then i taught you about the term protein remember protein is a polymer that originated 400 crore years ago i told you that protein is a polymer so naturally the next question is if protein is a polymer what are the monomers of protein you will be curious to know the name of the monomer isn't it that is responsible for the formation of protein protein is a polymer we protein parna polymer undavanum undengil monomers vende appo aa monomers inde per enda protein is a polymer and the name of the monomer is amino acids so so monomers together we get a polymer so these are the monomers and we get the polymer protein for example if this is amino acid each unit if it is amino acid together we get a chain that is protein okay now starch is also another polymer 
then what will be the name of the monomer responsible for the formation of starch it is glucose appo glucose pala units pala glucose monomers um kuda chernittana namukku starch enna polymer undavanathu okay so protein and starch these are the best examples of polymers and appo starch undavanathu glucose nu protein undavanathu amino acid nu clear okay now there is a small paragraph about rubber you know rubber is also a type of polymer and i taught you last class that rubber is an elastic polymer പോളിമറിൽ മൂന്ന് ടൈപ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഫൈബേഴ്സ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് റബ്ബർ ഫൈബേഴ്സ് നമ്മൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പഠിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞു ഈ ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ഇന്ന് ടീച്ചർ പറഞ്ഞു തന്നു നൗ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോളിമർ ഇസ് റബ്ബർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലിസൺ ടു ദിസ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഐ വിൽ ടീച്ച് യു റബ്ബർ ഇസ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ പോളിമർ വിത്ത് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് റബ്ബർ ഇസ് ഐസൊലേറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ലേറ്റിക്സ് ഒബ്ടൈൻ ഫ്രം റബ്ബർ ട്രീ Rubber is a polymer formed by the combination of the monomer molecules isoprene. Appa rubber polymer anangil ee rubber endavana monomers inde peru endana suppose if this is rubber now the monomer each monomer is called as isoprene. Appa rubber polymer ana ad endavanam nundengil isoprene molecules cheranam. Pala different different many isoprene units together forms rubber right so rubber is an elastic polymer ad endavunadu endunnana isoprene starch endavunadu glucose in protein endavunadu amino acids in rubber endavunadu edu monomer nu choichal you should be able to answer it isoprene clear okay now the next paragraph synthetic polymers with the properties of rubber have been developed synthetic polymers with the properties of rubber are also now manufactured rubber and adhe gunangal ulla laboratory il man made aayittulla synthetic polymers just like rubber these are called synthetic rubbers neoprene thiocol buna n buna s etc belong to this group പല എക്സാമ്പിൾസും തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് സിന്തറ്റിക് റബ്ബറിൻ്റെ ഏതൊക്കെയാ ന്യൂപ്രീൻ തിയോകോൾ ബ്യൂന എസ് ബ്യൂന എൻ ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ സിന്തറ്റിക് റബ്ബേഴ്സ് ക്ലിയർ അപ്പോൾ ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടെ ടീച്ചർ പറയാം റബ്ബർ ഉണ്ടാവണത് റബ്ബർ ഈസ് എൻ ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പോളിമർ അത് ഉണ്ടാവണ മോണമേറിൻ്റെ പേരാണ് ഐസോപ്രീൻ അപ്പോൾ പല ഐസോപ്രീൻ യൂണിറ്റ്സും കൂടെ ചേർന്നിട്ട് മെനി മെനി ഐസോപ്രീൻ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ടുഗെദർ ഫോംസ് റബ്ബർ ക്ലിയർ so don't forget this point now i move on to the third one that is plastics so children you might have heard this word plastic teacher a kanya class lum parano every house will have objects made of plastic there won't be a single house without plastic now before i teach you there is a small paragraph a brief history of plastics listen to this Plastic got its name from the Greek word plastikos which means with alterable shape. Plastic in the word edunna vannathu plastikos. Ee word nanna plastic in the word vannathu. Okay Greek word plastikos nanna plastic varna word vannathu. So plastic got its name from the Greek word plastikos. And what is the meaning of this word plastikos? alterable shape alterable varna change cheyan pattum alter means change now you might have seen plastic objects are they all of the same shape no plastic bottle it will be cylindrical plastic containers will have different shapes so plastic got its name from this word plasticos and this word means alterable shape adinnana plastic enna word vannathu Parkazine prepared by Alexander Parks in 1856 was the first substance analogous to plastic. Parkazine was first prepared by Alexander Parks in the year 1856. It was the first substance analogous to plastic. Analogous varna similar same ay thonu. Parkazine varna oru substance plastic ne pole thonikkiyirunnu. The first artificial plastic was Bic Light 
ഫസ്റ്റ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ഏതാണ് ബേക്ക് ലൈറ്റ് പ്രിപ്പയർഡ് ബൈ ദ ബെൽജിയൻ കെമിസ്റ്റ് ലിയോ ബേക്ക് ലാൻഡ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ നോട്ട് നയൻ അപ്പോൾ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് വോസ് ബേക്ക് ലൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് പ്രിപ്പയർഡ് ബൈ ദ ബെൽജിയൻ കെമിസ്റ്റ് ലിയോ ബേക്ക് ലാൻഡ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ നോട്ട് നയൻ ലിയോ ബേക്ക് ലാൻഡ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ നോട്ട് നയൻ പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് നെയിംഡ് ബേക്ക് ലൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ നൗ ഹാവ് എ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ പാരഗ്രാഫ് this is just to make us understand how important plastic is in our lives day to day lives plastic is also a polymer but does it have the similar properties like that of fibers no fibers are noil pole ana fibers are used to make clothes plastic ne konde clothes undaakan pattu plastic noolu pole aakan pattu no it is not possible plastic or polymer ana adinte properties fibers ne pole alla different properties ana okay now these substances plastic substances they have changed the very existence of life now we are very much dependent on plastic nowadays and just look at the use of plastic range okay it is used to manufacture number of products from household utensils to artificial heart valves veetil the containers jars utensils mudal nammude heart valves vare plastic in the use avade und artificial heart valves no other substance have so diverse a use as that of plastics പറഞ്ഞത് വേറെ ഒരു സബ്സ്റ്റൻസിനും പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്കിൻ്റെ അത്ര ഡൈവേഴ്സ് യൂസ് ഇല്ല ഡൈവേഴ്സ് മീൻസ് മെനി മെനി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഡൈവേഴ്സ് മീൻസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ഫ്രം പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ജ കണ്ടെയ്നേഴ്സ് ടു പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ടാങ്ക്സ് യു മൈറ്റ് സീൻ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ടാങ്ക്സ് ഓൺ റൂഫ് ടോപ്സ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് ഓൺ ടെറസസ് ഓഫ് അവർ ഹൗസസ് യെസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് സോ ജസ്റ്റ് ഇമാജിൻ the use of plastic the range the diversity of plastic okay now there is a table where there are two columns first column is situation the second is characteristic now the first one is done for you to insulate electric conductors now why we cover electric wires with plastic covering why wires are given a plastic covering because plastic is not a conductor of electricity wires could electricity ingane pass out appo plastic in the covering coating kodutha kaaranam namaku shock adikkilla even if you touch the wires because plastic does not conduct electricity clear now the second situation is to make handles of kitchen utensils kitchen le use cheyana utensils inde handles undalla pidi adu plastic inde aanu you might have seen tawa the handles are of plastic why because it is not a good conductor of heat we can hold the handle it's not hot even though the tawa is placed on the gas stove when it is burning when the gas stove is burning the handle will not be hot because plastic is not a good conductor of heat third one to store chemical substances plastic is used to store chemical substances you might have seen in your houses right for example harpic lysol many such liquids they are stored in plastic containers why because plastic is resistant to chemical action plastic le oru chemical action um nadakkilla so we can store chemicals fourth one to make water tanks i told you just now over the terrace on the rooftop we can see plastic water tanks huge ones they can withstand lot of heat rain cold everything they can withstand why because they are highly durable they last for many many years even after 20 years no damage occurs to the plastic tank because it is highly durable then fifth one to make household utensils you might have seen your mothers storing tea powder coffee powder many other powders in plastic containers why 
because they are available in attractive colors and shapes moreover they are cheap okay they are cheaper and they are available in attractive colors and shapes so again i'll read out the characteristics one by one the first one not a conductor of electricity second one not a good conductor of heat third one it is resistant to chemical action fourth highly durable fifth one it is cheaper and it, it is available in attractive colors and shapes okay so from this table children you understood the simple properties of plastic many characteristics that you already know that they are highly durable they are resistant to chemicals then they are not they are not good conductors of heat and electricity now we will go to something more deeper now you are in eighth standard you should know much more than this now i am going to the very 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 important topic in this lesson always questions are asked every time questions are asked on this topic and that topic so now i move on to the next topic children and that is thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic which is very very important in this lesson always questions are asked remember i am repeating very very important in this lesson be thorough with this i am going to start this now listen plastics are of two types one is thermoplastic and other is thermosetting plastic now first i will teach you about thermoplastic there are differences listen okay thermoplastic first i'll read out the definition and then explain plastics can be classified into two types based on the changes that occur while heating the plastic that gets softened on heating and hardened on cooling is thermoplastic this process can be repeated any number of times now children you might have seen plumbers using pvc pipes right pvc pipe ingane plumbers choodaakana nokka kandittundo and then they fix it so that pvc pipe is an example of thermoplastic it is not an example of thermosetting why thermoplastic means the plastic on heating it becomes soft on heating it becomes soft and on cooling it becomes hard it gets hardened on cooling okay on heating it becomes soft on cooling it becomes hard but after it becomes hard again when i heat it it can again turn into soft substance it can again be soft this process can be repeated many times choodaakumba soft avum thanne adu cool aayi kaiya it will automatically get hardened hard aayi kaiya to pinne choodaakiyal adu pinne soft avum pinne cool aaya adu hard avum so this process can be repeated many times n number of times we can repeat so such plastics which on heating gets softened and on cooling gets hardened and when this process can be repeated many times that type of plastic is called as thermoplastic for example the pvc pipes used by plumbers is an example of thermoplastic because it becomes soft on heating and hard on cooling again if we wish we can make it soft ingane repeat cheyondirikkan pattum aa process ne but thermosetting plastic listen carefully when we heat it becomes soft on cooling it becomes hard once it becomes hard even if we heat it we can't make it soft it becomes permanently hard thermosetting means on heating it becomes soft on cooling it gets hard but then we can't make it soft it is permanently hard permanent hard on it okay so now listen to this paragraph the plastic which remains soft when heated during its manufacture and gets hardened permanently on cooling is thermosetting plastic so thermosetting plastic means on heating it becomes soft and on cooling it becomes hard 
it becomes permanently hard permanent it gets hardened permanently on cooling then once hardened they cannot be remolded in the shape maatta pattilla in a soft aakan pattilla but in the case of thermoplastic when it is heated it becomes soft on cooling it becomes hard again on heating we can remold it it becomes soft again and it can be repeated but here that process once it becomes hard we cannot make it soft again it cannot be remolded by heating once hard it's forever hard permanently it gets hardened so such type of plastic is called as thermosetting plastic now you might have seen the handles of tawa pressure cooker we can hold the handle isn't it even though the cooker is hot we lift it by touching the handle of the pressure cooker why the handle doesn't get hot why there is no change in the shape of the handle the cooker is very very hot but the handle is not at all hot why because that handle is made up of thermosetting plastic once it gets hardened we cannot make it soft by heating we cannot change its shape it will not get hot again permanently hard on clear so handles of pressure cooker allengil handles of iron box now suppose you are ironing your clothes pressing your clothes iron box is very hot if you hold the handle a chodu tatti iron box inde chodu tatti a handle uriya nammala kaiyum polli povilli appo iron box inde handle edu plastic kondana etra chodu tattiyalum onnum sambhavikkilla adu appo urike hard varna hard aanu appo iron box inde handle pressure cooker inde handle tawa all those handles they are made up of thermosetting plastic they are permanently hard no change occurs to them even if it is hot clear but pvc pipe adine namukku choodaaka thanipikka choodaaka thanipikka that process can be repeated now the question is why there is a difference in the behavior both are plastics this can be remolded but this cannot be remolded why what is the difference the reason for the difference is their structural difference okay listen carefully i'll read out this paragraph okay different plastics have different molecular structure thermoplastics are called linear polymers thermoplastics ne linear polymers na pariya these are formed by the linear combination of monomers so thermoplastic inde vere peraana linear polymers linear means line in a straight line thermoplastic is a linear polymer the monomers are arranged in a straight line just look at that figure but thermosetting plastic thermosetting plastics have a structure in which the monomer units are cross linked in different directions have a look at the figure the first one thermoplastic is linear that is it is in the form of a straight line but thermosetting plastic is cross linked have a look at the figure children so since it is in the form of a line when it is heated it becomes soft cooling it becomes hard again on heating it becomes soft because they are in a straight line easily they can undergo the change but in thermosetting plastic since the monomer units are in arranged in a cross linked manner it is very difficult to make it soft on heating again once when it becomes hard urike hard aayi kaynal adu pinna soft aavilla kaaranam monomer units in arrangement cross linked aan pakshe thermoplastic le straight line simple aayittu ikana straight line aayittana monomer units onnu hard aayi kaynal avare pinni soft aakan pattum clear appo endu kondana thermoplastic പിന്നെ നമുക്ക് ചൂടാക്കിയ സോഫ്റ്റ് ആക്കാൻ പറ്റണേ ഹാർഡായി കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ലീനിയർ പോളിമർ തെർമോസെറ്റിംഗ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ദ മോണോമേഴ്സ് ആർ അറേഞ്ച് ഇൻ എ ക്രോസ് ലിങ്ക്ഡ് മാനർ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഡിഫറൻസസ് യു കാൻ ഈസിലി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് നാം സോ ദ ഡിഫറൻസസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ തെർമോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ആൻഡ് തെർമോസെറ്റിംഗ് ഇസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇസ് ദ ഡെഫിനേഷൻസ് സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ തെർമോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ഇസ് എ ലീനിയർ പോളിമർ thermosetting plastic is a cross linked polymer 
Now the third change is thermoplastics undergo physical change on heating. Thermosetting plastics on heating undergo chemical change along with physical change. So first difference in definition then Narida. Second, thermoplastic is a linear polymer. Thermosetting plastic is a cross-linked polymer. Cross-linked in the varnal, it is in this manner. Okay. Third one, on heating, thermoplastic only undergoes physical change. But on heating, thermosetting plastics undergo both physical and chemical change. Clear? So, once again children, this point is, this topic is very very important. Polymers are of three types, fiber, plastic, rubber. Fibers you already know. Today I taught you about rubber. Rubber is formed from isoprene. Rubber is an elastic polymer. Even synthetic rubbers are now available in the market. Then I taught you about plastic. It got its name from plasticos, which means alterable shape. Plastic properties, you know, simple properties you already know. Then I taught you about the two types of plastic, thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. The first definition is it becomes soft on heating and hard on cooling and it can again become soft on heating. The process can be repeated. Here, once it gets hard on cooling, it cannot be remolded, it cannot be soft. This process, the heating process, it cannot be repeated. Okay, then this is a linear polymer, this is a cross link polymer, then thermoplastic undergoes only physical change on heating, but thermosetting plastic undergoes both physical and chemical change on heating. Clear? The next topic is about pollution due to plastic and then I have to teach you about recycling symbols and the four R's. You already know the three R's, right? Now in chemistry 8th standard you have to learn about the four R's. What are they? In the next class I will teach you all that. So children this is the last lesson of chemistry in 8th standard. I hope so far you have understood all the lessons. Again, I repeat this lesson is very important. All the lessons are important but always questions are asked on this topic about thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. You should understand this thoroughly. Why there is a difference in their behavior when it is heated? It is only because of their structural difference. Only line the cross-linked. What is cross-linked? Monomers. They are monomers, they are together with a polymer. But so be thorough. Next class, I will start the next topic that is pollution due to plastic that you already know. But since I have to teach you all this, I shall do that in my next class. Till then, it is bye-bye from me. Thank you.